Hey guys, I'm Yuri from Zulu8 and I'm going to show you how to make this cool paint stroke effect using Octane and Cinema. Start off by um, getting an object, like whatever object you want your um, paint stroke to project on. So I found this cool website called 3dscans.com so you can jump on there and um, yeah, it's got heaps of cool uh, assets that you can use and yeah. So um, I'm going to use this crab over here. Let me just merge my crab into my scene. Cool. I'm just going to start off by renaming him to crab. Make a camera. And I'm going to put my settings to 1920 by 1920 just to get a square frame let's position our camera um, just to frame up our crab so I'll just uh, zero out all my transforms my coordinates sorry and I know already that this is 180 degrees so I'm just going to frame up my crab. Make a copy of your camera. I'm going to call this the projection cam. And also make a copy of your crab. So I'm going to call this crab Alright, so now create a plane. Just jump out of my camera view. I'm going to rotate my plane 90 degrees. So this is going to be your backplate. And just position your backplate close to your object. So we want a nice shadow catching on that plate. Cool. So then jump back into your camera view. Make a copy of your plane. So I'm going to call this paint plane. Just hit a render. Let's create some lighting quickly. So so I'm going to go chalk on a HDRI environment and I've got a HDR um, image that I'm just going to pop in there download something off the internet somewhere just pop one in or make your own lighting setup it's pretty easy just to, just to brighten it up a little bit I'm going to turn the power up a little bit I want to get some a little bit of shadows happening. I want to miss the crab. And I'm just playing around with the rotation of the HDR. Yeah, that looks fine to me for now. So now let's uh, make a few textures. So go into materials and create a glossy texture. Um, I'm going to make two copies of that, so there's three. So I'll call the first one Crab. Call the second one Paint. And then the third one will be for our backplate. So now we can just drop the backplate on. Um, doesn't have to be glossy, we can change the backplate to a diffuse, I guess. Let's drop the paint onto the paint crab and then also drop the paint onto the paint plane so now let's go into our normal crab we'll change that to all black okay and let's drop the crab the black crab onto the plane crab that we have happening there 
Now we'll go into our paint texture. We'll go into the diffuse channel and go into Cinema 4D Octane and then choose a image texture. Okay, so go into that image texture um, and I've downloaded like this blue paint texture. You can download whatever you want projected onto your um, object. Cool. So now go into your opacity. Do the same thing. Cinema 4D Octane image texture. Open that up. And this is where you can import like a PNG, an image with some sort of transparency to it. So I've got this uh, paintbrush stroke, which I downloaded off the net as well. You can do whatever you want, you know. Use whatever image you want. Just make sure you have like the rights for it. So I'm going to use that, and then change that to black color and alpha, or white color and alpha. Go into those texture nodes up here, and okay, we'll start off with the paint crab, so go into that, and then the projection go into camera mapping so then grab your projection camera and drop it in there and do the same for the other paint plane grab your projection camera oops sorry change that to camera mapping grab your projection cam drop it into there so let octane update a little bit okay so Nothing's showing up on your plane because we're going to move the paint plane towards the camera or the normal plane a little bit backwards. So we'll just move the normal plane a little bit backwards. There you go, there's that paint stroke coming up. Obviously it's a little bit um, fat and chunky right now, but uh, let's fix that. So go into your paint. Go into your opacity channel, image texture, and hit UV transform. So grab your scale and yeah, just scale it down a little bit. I'm going to rotate mine a little bit as well. I'm going to go into my diffuse as well. Hit UV transform. And I'm going to scale this up a little bit just so it reaches like past the edges of my paint stroke. The reason why our crab isn't showing up in the thing is because we're going to do the same thing either move our paint crab towards the camera or our um, normal crab a little bit back. So we'll just grab our normal crab and move him back, and boom, there you go. Um, let's actually go into our crab and go into the index, bump that up a little bit, make them a little bit more glossy. That looks pretty cool to me, man. I'll grab this paint as well, bring up the index as well, make it wet and painty looking. Select your camera and uh, Go into Cinema 4D Octane Tags and give it an Octane Camera Tag. Also, yep, enable your camera imager and then change the gamma to 2.2 and change that to linear as well. Give that a render. And there you go. So guys, that's how you make a paint stroke projection in cinema using Octane. Feel free to check out our Instagram and Facebook page for more tutorials and cool renders. I'm Eurus from Zulu8. I hope this helped achieve what you wanted to achieve. And thanks for watching.